smell it like an ashtray! You burned my pizzeria to the ground! I did a no such thing! Someone told me they saw you there! Maybe it was uh, my cousin, uh, Alfredo DeLuisa! You uh, got a problem, bitch! I will build a new pizzeria, Dom, and you both will pay for it! Fuck you! 800 likes on the video, and next week I will take Dom and Alfredo to court! What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Brutes, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season! To be 100% honest with you, I'm surprised the game even loaded up today after what we experienced a week ago! How long you got? I'm gonna need the rest of the day to talk you through everything that we experienced at the Talladegs! Double-A batteries wrecks hard in qualifying. That takes out Marie Antoinette in the 46, and apparently Gads if at the same time. We couldn't start the race because Marie Antoinette kept spawning upside down. Why? Because of what happened in the qualifying session. That doesn't explain the upside down. Had to close out the game, reopen it. Had to close out the game, reopen it. Through all of that, somehow the 46 gets replaced with the 66. So now Mikey Waldutz is on the track. We beat his rutabagas up out of the way, put him down on the apron, along with the 43 and the 20, and then we were able to race. Yeah, it just looked like everything was gonna be fine, just peachy keen after we got him out of the way. Mm-hmm. All I wanted to do was make a pit stop under the yellow flag condition. I had absolutely no idea that that pit stop would take me 36 minutes. So yeah, we ran out the rest of the laps and we won! Let's forget about all that shit and let's look at these points because these points, we need to dissect. Obviously we're the points leader. We've been dominant through the first 10 races. We won four of them. That's 40% if you're keeping track at home. Jemai's sitting where he belongs, right in my coattails. And then you got Denny Hamster there in third. Okay, everything is looking all right. Oh, oh. Well, what happened here? You guys pointed this out to me in the comments. I did not pick up on this at the end of last week's video. There are two seventh in points, but here's the problem. They don't share the same amount of points. Now this transpires a couple of other times. As you scroll through, you will see that there are two 33rds as well as two 37ths. I scrolled through at the end of the last video and I was like, why are there only 40 cars now in the driver's standings? What happened to the other three? Apparently this is 43 driver names right through here but we've just doubled up on some of the points positions. William Clyde and the Boof have the same amount of points, yet the Boof is in 35th, and William Clyde is in 37th, tied with Kansas, who has 178 points. I'm assuming it has something to do with just everything that went on at the Talent Eggs, and I'm hoping Oh, look at that, I drive the 24 car now. I'm hoping that after we run Kansas, everything goes back to normal. Well, as normal as it can be. And we get our full slate of 43 drivers back in the standings. Moobs Motorsport has been absorbed into Hendrick Motorsports. We're gonna help them with all of their illegal car parts. My paints game for the day! Because this is the only pizzeria that still exists! Can't believe I'm allowing Dom DeLuise on my car after he burnt my pizzeria to the ground. Kansas, what can I tell you about Kansas? Well, we've had some tremendous battles here in the spring races the last two seasons, 2013 and 2014, with Kansas! If, but of course, we are driving as Jimmy in both of those races. Can we go for the trifecta? Can Kansas pull himself out of a tie for 37th in points with William Clyde by winning here or attempting to win here at Kansas tonight? Let's find out. Let's get the video started. Let's go! These guys have been arguing about tire pressure since I started the series. Okay, let's remember. 
Let's not wreck anybody here! Welcome to America's heartland for Fox Sports coverage of the STP 400 at Kansas Speedway. I'm Mike Joy with Darrell Waltrip. Mike, a very entertaining racetrack to come to. A lot of things in the area right here around the racetrack to go and do. And I tell you the thing that the drivers have got to pay attention to, those big cracks in the racetrack with the dark sealer. You'll see them. They're really, uh, they really upset your race car. You've got to be aware of those. Kansas is a mile and a half track, but it's no cookie cutter. It has its own unique challenges. Out here in the Great Plains, they love their stock car racing. Big crowd on hand for today's running. Let's find out who's best in the Midwest. Booty, booty, booty. Let's go racing, drivers. Thank you, Darrell. I can actually say that this week. Do you think in this nighttime darkness, you'd actually be able to see those clumps, clumps, clouds of red, white, and blue emanating from those airplanes? I don't think you would. We're out of my I had a lot that I wanted to say, and it was stumbling and bumbling out of my mouth. I did not have a very good start. We have, I think some people jumped that start. They were getting by me before we even hit the line. It was kind of odd and qualifying. I was stupid fast in the first round. I made it through the first round for once, but then I made it into the second round. Oh my God, I was like a half a second off of my fast lap. We're three wide. Uh, they don't usually do a whole lot of this at Kansas. I was thinking back, go to, uh, I, I, I get off my front bumper. Back, back to the 2014 Sprint Kansas race that we had here at the Eutectic Sock. And that was kind of a wild one. That's where the whole thing started with me uh, wrecking a guy in qualifying. Him, oh shit! Oh! He did a little bit of a wall pop. That was. That was exciting. Let me see this, because you see the 50, he, damn, he got loose, he got squirrely. 51 got squirrely, and then I followed along with his squirrely. Uh, 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 I think the thing handles all right. Well, when we were here in 14, that was a wild one, because that was the first time. It was Old Man Bushy who wrecked out in group qualifying, and it was the same glitch where he was parked on the track. We had several massive ones because of it and then at the end of that race i was battling with kids and i blew out a wheel on the final lap and he was chasing me down we had a photo finish that was awesome maybe we'll have something like that again tonight bushy holding him up there on the outside that outside line did not get going i'm excited to see where this race is going to go with how they were driving there that was kind of cool they were three wide and stuff getting wiggly Real handling race cars, I want to see some more racks. Gained a little bit of track position. Gained not clear. much, not too much. We're in only a few spots, a few people pitted. But it's a little bit of something. We're in the 20s now, and I think the car feels good, good enough up on that high side to really let it rip and to get closer to the lead, to, up to the front. I'm going to pass the people. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Looking low. We are both. Car numbered in the 80s. We should back. stick together. There is one thing that that bumper got right. Left side's clear. Shit pizza. Fuck are you up? Now I gotta deal with both of them. Okay, I thought we were going somewhere, but I'm kind of stuck. This feels like Giggles Logano. I'm cool, the buddy. Steve Harvey to the, the Giggles Logano's Giggles Logano. What was that, 2018 when he couldn't get around him? The what the side. shit? All right, we're fine. Three we're wide. just brushing it off. I'll take the spots, thank you. Oh, thank God, Katie Kate. Katie Kate pushed big time. You better watch out. Jeff Gordon Ramsey, that little weasel. He's gonna report you for malfeasance to Rick Hendrick. I know, I've been a part of the Hendrick stable for the last four seasons. Now we're getting somewhere. Now it's coming to me, outside line. Damn, McDouche. That just seems so highly unnecessary. Or we're starting, no, please move. Boy, starting to uh, work him right over. And no, oh, McDouche, no, no. If you were to pass me, I think I would quit NASCAR altogether. I just wouldn't be able to live with myself. We've had some really good intermediate track racing so far in the NASCAR 15 season. I'm hoping we get some, you know, the tires, they sometimes push the tires a bit too far at these tracks. Some blowout, some pit strategy, some good good before the end of the 
Dang. It's vaporized. And now you want to stuff me in the one? First you brake check me in the middle of the one and two. I don't know if you're coming or you're going. And then you want to put me up into the wall? Pit stop. Oh, damn. Three wide, two inside. That could have easily been an accident. Mikey Walnuts threw it down the pit. Someone else joined him down there. He got a couple of pit roads. You probably will have more people pitting very soon. I'm going to have to pit pretty soon because my right side tires, they are wearing the hell out. Crack top ten, but damns is it a ways all the way up to the booth. Four, three and a half, four seconds. I'm interested to see if I can claw into that at all. Wow. Hot dog. Inside hot player. dog, hot dog, hot thing in the dog. Jemai! Well, just about practically everybody and their grandmother threw it down the pits that time. We should probably look to do the same here shortly before, I, 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 I don't know, the right rear blows. What did that, that, I feel like that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I won here on a flat tire a season ago, but that was on the last lap, not with 37 to go. We're gonna pit this time. Still have a few staying out. We'll see what they do. Their long-term goals and plans. Do you have a five-year plan? Oh, I plan on winning this race. Oh, okay. Well, that you're really shooting for the stars, then, aren't you? We're pitting. Come on, slow it, slow it the hell down. Wow. Let's get it was really there. hard I want to, do to get tires, that car down to speed. Tires. It did not okay, want to slow. Took Give some wedge out of it, here, dropped some tire pressures, won a corner a little bit better. We are down and away, and we are back at... Okay, Damn. You couldn't fit a paper clip between us. I'm pushing, I'm Nobody's pushing. Make it easy for you Thanks, got buddy. sideburn fever up there oh, sideways. Yeah, we didn't lose, and we lost. Oh, damn, all right, I'm gonna have to quit NASCAR now. We lost some time. We did, didn't we? We're roundabout, though. Usually it's a lot worse than that. We're roundabout where we should have been, where we were before pit stops began. I gotta see. Four wide. Three wide, two high. It's four, I counted out. How this car feels now on the fresh tires with the fresh adjustments we just put into it. Right if we're clear. able to make up any more ground than okay, we were, the booth, you. though, the booth had a fantastic pit stop. Whole pit cycle, really, up to a nine and a half second lead. Gotta be honest, it's we're almost really refreshing to have a race where everything is going so smoothly after what I dealt with a week ago. Ooh! Oh, man, Look out, booth. I'm coming for that KFC. I know they're going to sponsor you next season. What the sh... It looked like that. And Jeff Gordon Ramsay were having one of their old 1998 battles. Boy, that kid is a bitch. I had no idea dad was out here. Going somewhere. We got speed. We're cutting into the booths lead. It was like nine, about 9.6 whatever. Now it's 8.6, whatever, okay, watch really it, Jemai! I'm just grabbing big old heaping loads of spots every time I send it down into the damn corner. Give me another good, Running good lap. Hell yeah! Oh, that good, good run. Look at Mikey Walnuts running in seven. Fucking inspiration at the age of 82. He might as well be the second grandpa out here. No, wait! Grandpa Martin, he's retired at this point. He's the new grandpa! Don't you do it! Slight. Yeah! Zip is up here. He's just not up there with the, the lead. I would like to see him get up near the lead because that'd be awesome. If we could have another battle, three seasons in a row. Another round of pit stops has begun. If we're going to contend for this lead, this win, and we're not going to get like any yellow flags, I'm sure we'll still get another one. We cannot have the booth gap us like he did on the last round of pit stops. Ah, I got water up my nose! Welcome to Michael Moose's Mid Race Report presented by Guest Kid Water! I'm glad I'm able to do this this week. Not sitting at pit road entry, 20 yards from the commitment line. What a straightforward, actual, real life simulation type race we're having here. It feels, uh, you know what? I know that we all like some good, good action and it was fucking hysterical as all hell last week when I was stuck there on the pits. But every once in a while, it's nice to have a race where everything just goes like a race should. We got a good, good car. Now, there's not much else to say about it. It's good. It is very fast. We've knocked off three seconds of the Boof's lead. But the problem is he's on pit road now. Carlos Jr. is on pit road now, second place. If 
they come off of pit road gaining the same amount that they gained on me last time, which was like, I don't know, six seconds, they're gonna have like a 12 second lead on me. That's not anything I can make up in the laps remaining. It'd probably be smarter, you know what, we're gonna pit this time. I pushed it two laps after the booth pitted last time. I'm gonna push it one lap this time. Try to keep more on a level playing field. We don't need a black flag for Jeez, slow it down, slow it down. Level playing field with him. Thing. One thing that is a little, eh, I was able to make it 17 laps. There was a caution involved, but I made it 17 laps the first run. That, I just, okay, 13 we need to laps. Here. In and out, let's go. I'm gonna probably have to pit again before the end. That'll probably be the pit stop that I'm speeding down pit road on. There goes Carlos Jr. We'll get him next and there time, goes buddy. Kansas, and there goes Hamster. We're roundabout, we're not losing near as much on the pit stops as we usually do. I like that. We still did lose a hefty sum, though. We got a lot of ground to make up. I got to focus up. I got to finish this mid-race sport. I got to drive my balls off, man. This has been Michael Moves' mid-race sport presented by Gas Can Water. Wait a minute. Car in front's heading to the pit. Just keep a good pace. You're doing good. Where is it? The boof. Carlos Jr. Kansas and Hamster all just went back down pit road. Were they Looks all like the speeding? Right How the fuck? Wait a minute, we got a blowout. I think the leader, I think yeah, Tony the Tiger blow blew out his tire. wheel. Could this throw out the yellow? You bitch! Could we get a yellow for that? All right, I, I have absolutely no clue why the 16, the 20, the 19, and the 11 all made it another made another pit stop a lap or two after they made pit okay, stop, but that go. just handed me the lead. And a massive one at that. Six okay, seconds that over. Jimmy! Looks like Tony the Tiger made it to the pits. This game is so damn stupid sometimes. Well, I was looking clear. forward to trying to run down the booth. And now I don't have to run down the booth. Now. Now, I just gotta try not to hit anything. I say try not to hit anything, like that's the easiest freaking thing in the world for me. It's not. You see in my video, you watch my videos, you know how often I hit time. shit. And in this game, you never know, there could be a wall pop waiting around every corner. We've had several wall pops on the intermediate. It's only been intermediate tracks through the first 10 races. We've seen a good handful of them. I remember Texas, I think that was, son of a bitch, that was the last time we ran an intermediate. We were having a great battle with Vicks Vapor Rub right late in the going. And then all of a sudden, Jeff Gordon Ramsey wall popped, brought out the yellow restart. You just never know what the NASCAR 15's Victory Edition is going to hand up and serve to you raw on a plate. How you doing, Marie Antoinette? I see we're right side up this week. They're making pits again, probably because they think they can make it to the end from here. They're road course stratting this bitty. As long as I'm not stupid, and as long as I make my pit stop correctly, we're within the 13 laps of the end. That's how long we were able to stretch it on fuel last run. As long as I, I just don't, I don't trust myself. That's the problem. But as long as I don't fuck up, there's no way in hell I'm losing this. What? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. There could be a wall pop from the AI. I overlooked that. There could be an AI caution. I'm not putting that out of the realm of possibility. There could still be a restart here, and that could go wrong. We saw the initial start, how they ganged up on me. 10 laps. I, damn, I got a pit. I just, to go. <laughs> I didn't realize the yeah, right rear was there. that low. I got to make my pit stop this time, but 10 to go. We We're close. Here, we're almost to another victory. Just everybody keep your stuff together a little bit longer. I gotta make sure not to screw this up. Inside, as I have corner. Gilligan flying beneath me. I'm, I'm going like speed. super mega right conservative. I was on the brakes way early. Right, solid. Very We're ready solid. When you are, man. Now nobody wrecked. While I'm down here, I don't want to wind up a lap down or some shit. Bushy stays out. And Redneck Jesus too. Interesting. I'm just wondering how much further can they make it? Now we'll really get a good understanding of how much time I lose on green flag stops. Jemai, I was up over it by like 10, 11 seconds. Now it's four and a half. So you gotta expect, no matter how good your pit crew is, 
that you're gonna lose like uh, six, seven seconds every time you pick. All these guys are on pit road, the entire top six. We are back. That was so simple, it was so easy. Now who's gonna fuck it up for me? I, I knew it. I knew it. Bitch, I knew it. What the fuck are you fucking doing, you dumb shit? What is this carryover from 2012? Blow me! Unbelievable. On fucking real. I'm not pitting. I got the goddamn lead. They got fresher tires by a couple of laps, though, now. Bushy? Redneck Jesus? Uh-huh. Watch okay, this shit. Watch, Watch me lose cars. this now because the game you. gives them some unfair advantage because they just pitted after me. Watch me spin the tires. Watch me spin my nice ass job. off. Okay, good. See, that initial start had me worried that I was going to spin my tires real bad. Let's just drive away. Let's have a nice, Outside. orderly Outside. restart, guys. No problems. One you. We're good. We're good. Just block them. Just block them. And drive away. Man, then you know what? There is nothing. It's a little excitement. I asked Chef Boyardee. Three wide, two inside. And Jeff Gordon Ramsay to do that for y'all, just so you had you your nails it. to bite on. All right, your door. No, no. Your door. No, no, no. The juniors think that they're just gonna gang up on me. No, no, no. Give me that back. Where the, where the fuck you think you're off to? Off to the races? I don't think so, Buster. Is this outside line not what I need to be running? Should I be running around the bottom? Is that where the speed is here late in the night? I thought he was gonna hit me. Bitch. We might still get one of those spring Kansas finishes. After all, remember, I was up by 10 seconds. That has all been erased. We are now racing for our lives. Clear, all clear. We got, we're ahead of them. All right. All right. I think this outside line is still the way to go. You still get that good, good run coming out of the corner each time. No problems. That's some dumb shit that we actually got a yellow flag. I, I didn't actually think it was going to happen. I really, I cannot believe that we actually got that caution. A couple of people are on pit road. For reasons I cannot explain Here to you. Go. We just had a course you could have put it then. Two to go. Sweet Lord, we have been on fire. Moves Motorsport. Come on. Here Come to anybody. start it. the first third of our year. We've been killing it. Been on it. Week after week, fifth win. This will be in 11 races. We're looking at nearly a 50% win ratio. Final couple quarters. Say hello to the wall one more time. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry I had to murder you like that. We win again! Let's burn it down. But we gotta use this car next week in the all-star race. So let's not burn it down too bad. We don't want to give ourselves too much work. What happened to the wall? Wait a minute. Can this game ever not be fucked up and broken? What is that? It's a real shame that the prize money that we get from all of these races, I keep so much of it for myself, and I give our crew so little. We mollywopped that field today, my friends. Bushy thought for a brief moment, oh, I might have a shot at winning this race. No, you didn't, you fucking fool. I paid him off with some of the prize winnings. Just to wake you guys up. What the fuck happened to Jumbo? The boof, you know what, the boof, I, I don't understand your strategy. It obviously was not a winning strategy. That's why Roush Fenway needs Keselowski. Jumbo, what the hell? I think he got bullied on the final restart. He just was not meant to be. This guy, why push the damn tires? Just make a pit stop. That's a shame. Mans was running in seventh. That win ain't even gonna count. He ain't even gonna be able to make it into the chase because he's sucking so bad the rest of the time. Ah, we have 43 drivers. Let's see if we have 43 points positions. We are absolutely slaying. Like this, th there's gonna be a mercy rule somewhere in the rule book. Almost 100 points. I would say it's 100 points, but it's not because Denny Hamster's in second. He's got 326, we got 420. Still all out of order, but it looks like we got all of our points positions back. Anybody else duplicating with anybody else? I think it was just because it was Talladegs that it was all broken. Yep. 
everything's back to normal. He's gonna win 39th in points. Really has to, but he's like run really well. It's just, the game has this strategy built into his brain that sucks. This guy just sucks. I forgot. I, I gotta let you guys know. I meant to let you guys know about this. In the year 2020, what's, what's this year? Tw tw in the year 2024, I will be replacing Steve Harvey in the four car. I'm the new driver. It's All-Star Week, baby. We get a break from points running, and now we get to just chase a million bucks. We we won we won the inside line one. I don't know about 2013. I don't know about 2014. I can't really recall. Charlotte, Charlotte has been broken plenty in the past. Will it be broken in this game? I guess we'll find out. I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all very, very, very so very much for watching. I love it. every single last one of you. And I'll see you next week for that. I'll see you the rest of the week for other videos and live streams and YouTube shorts. Post something every day. But I'm done now. See you next time. Good.